Welcome back to The Lost Digit. Today we're looking at a joystick with an RGB LED. So all you need for this are some around 300 ohm resistors and Arduino, the joystick sensor, RGB LED, some jumper wires and a breadboard. So the way this uh, sensor works, or what you would know it as a joystick on a game controller, is it has two potentiometers, so one for the X and one for the Y direction. It also has a switch to allow you to click in and press. So it has a signal out for the X position, Y position, and then another one for the switch. So when you put on the joystick attachment, it just looks like a regular gamepad joystick. Then you have the RGB LED. The longest pin is the ground, and then it goes red, green, blue from the left to the right, skipping over the second pin, which is the ground. So we're gonna put it here in the breadboard for reference and then we're gonna move it. So we need to start wiring it up. To do this, we're gonna take the ground, which is the second pin, put it there for now, the red, the green, and then the blue. Once we do this, we can connect the red to a PWM out, which is nine, and then the green on 10, and then the blue on 11. Now this would be great, you know, for mood lighting in a bedroom or something like that. Once you do this, we can move the RGB LED to create space for the resistors. Now these resistors can be 270 ohm, 300 ohm, 330. I'm using 330, but anything around there should work just fine for this project. We're going to want to put these resistors in series between the output pin of the Arduino and the RGB LED. So we're going to put one for red, one for green, and one for blue. So once that's complete, we'll get the joystick in. Now to connect the joystick, we have to connect to the X, Y, and switch, and then also connect a five volt and a ground. The pins we're going to connect these to is analog input zero and one for X and Y, and then we're gonna use analog input two for the switch. Now here I put it on digital, but I'll correct that later. Then the five volts and the ground accordingly on the Arduino. And finally the ground for the RGB LED as well. So now if we head over to the GitHub link below, you can see the project code. Now you could copy and paste this into your Arduino IDE and it should work right off the bat. So we have a red, green, and blue pin, and that's 9, 10, and 11. And then we have for the joystick, the X, Y, and switch pin, which will be analog inputs 0, 1, and 2. We're gonna also initialize variables to store the joystick readings. So we're gonna have on lines 13 through 15, joy X, Y, and switch. And those are where we'll be storing the readings. When we set up the Arduino, we will not be using any serial connection because the output will be to the RGB LED. So we just have to define these pins as outputs and then we can use them. We'll also create a function that will update the RGB LED when it is called. So here we can specify red, green, and blue LED and then write to those analog pins. Then we have the program which will run, and this is the loop. So we have a delay of 100 milliseconds that will slow to 10 readings per second, and then we read joysticks X, Y, and switch positions, or where they are, and then we will update the RGB LED. That's all you need to do. You can put this, compile it, and upload it, and make sure that you connect the switch to analog 2, not digital 2. So now if we test it out, you can take the joystick and depending on which direction you put it in, it will change the color of the LED. And also if you press it in, it should activate or deactivate the blue because when you push the switch, it pulls it low. So that's it. Be sure to check out the code below and let me know in the comments if you want to see anything in specific or how you use these in your project. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.